welcome back to the channel. I'm Chandra, that's Jordan. Thanks for joining us. For 1984's This Is Spinal Tap. <laughs> yeah, we're watching This Is Spinal Tap. I am actually really excited. I have never seen this movie. And Jordan, I think you've seen it like a long time years ago? Years and years and years ago, yes. Yeah, but I do know a tiny bit only about the music because we play rock band pretty often. And you can get the music from This Is Spinal Tap, I guess. So I've heard some, like just parts of the songs. I think we've played a couple of them. So I'm really excited to like, in the movie to have those songs come on and be like, oh my God, I know this song. <laughs> it's true. I got the whole 10 pack for a dollar. It was on sale many years ago. <laughs> That's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> they, yeah, they're like, they're, they're fun songs. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, um, don't know too much. One of uh, the people on our Patreon was saying that they're like, uh, they, not ad lib, what is the word when improvise. you're like, improvise. So they like improvise a lot of their lines, which is super cool. Um, and that they're like a fake rock band, but they actually play the instruments and make the music. So I feel like they're a real rock band. Yeah, I guess technically they are. Yeah. They, they write, <laughs> record and perform music. So yeah. <laughs> that so, makes them a rock band. Yeah, kind of funny. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm super excited to jump in. Before we get started, uh, remember to like and subscribe, and then also check out our Patreon page. So this movie, actually, we did a fun, different kind of poll where we just got everyone that was there, all of our members, to tell us their like two most recommended movies for us to watch. And then we went through all of those movies, and the winner was This Is Final Tap. We actually had three different people that say they wanted us to watch this. So that was super fun. Yeah, and if you haven't been by our Patreon lately, you should stop by and check it out because we dropped our tier prices, mm -hmm. all of them across the board, lower. Yeah, we got a, a post on our page so you can check that out and kind of see the little details about it. But, yeah. I'm a filmmaker. I make a lot of commercials. Went down to Greenwich Village, New York City to a rock club called the Electric Banana. I heard a band. I remember being knocked out by their punctuality. <laughs> what? <laughs> Still going strong as one of England's loudest bands. Is this going to be like a, a documentary style? Yeah, it's a mockumentary. A new album called Smell the Glove. I was planning their first tour. I wanted to capture the, the sounds, the smells. Oh, no. <laughs> but I got more. A lot more. Let's boogie. Oh my God, he really sets us up for like a fun adventure. <laughs> oh, I actually love how that looks. That would be like a lot of energy. Good shirt. Makes me happy. Which one is this? This is La Guardia. No, this is J. So much energy already. Watch it now. Whoa. <laughs> it's like you become one with the guys in the band. The music just unites people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's how I talk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, okay, yeah, I know this song. We've totally played yeah. this. Oh my god, like, I actually love this song. <laughs> so good. It's like mustache They're like a legit 80s rock band. A little bit about the history of the group. We were in different groups. We looked at each other and said, so well, no, we might as well join up. <laughs> There's another group in the East End called the Originals. They became the Regulars. They changed their name back to the Regulars. I didn't know this was improvised. It's actually amazing now to watch it knowing that. Stop wasting my time. Oh my God, is that supposed to be them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe you don't. <laughs> is it terrible that I like all of these songs a lot? <laughs> no, I think they're all bangers. Yeah. Good drama. Great look. Good drama. Good. Yeah, he died in a bizarre gardening accident <laughs> some years back. <laughs> I can't even imagine. And he was replaced by uh, <laughs> Stumpy Joe. He choked on uh, vomit. Someone else's vomit. Oh my god. <laughs> to you print can't spectrum really <laughs> dust for vomit. <laughs> you can't <laughs> dust for vomit. <laughs> so what? How are you? Bobby Blackman. Bobby, of course. How are you? How are you? Don't talk so much, just smile and look smart. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is Sir Dennis Eaton Hodge. This is Nigel. Let's go over here and we'll all take a picture together. This actually feels like so real. I did the bird. Do the dead bird. Mime is money. Let's go. Come on, move it. <laughs> Mime is money. Tap into America. Yeah. Are you reading Yes, I Can? You know what the title of that book should be? Frank Sinatra says it's okay. Frank's walking down Broadway by himself. Oh, no. <laughs> they don't 
really understand, you know, about life like Frank's. The Times may even do something. Really? New York mm -hmm. Times. The New York Times. Oh, now, no. Philly now, that's a real rock and roll town. I'm doing everything I can. That's right. We're not blaming you. I mean, I'm riding you. the bus. You know that we're not blaming you. I love how, like, raw everything feels. Oh, my God. He has got a look. Mm -hmm. It is a thing. <laughs> oh, my God. The loose of the waistband. <laughs> the shot of his butt. It's too much. I like to sink her with my pink torpedo. <laughs> oh. Of her each weekday, each velvet, each cheek day. There's like no innuendos. It's just like right on the nose. Oh my god! Let's talk about your reviews. The musical growth rate of this band cannot even be charted. The Lord creates Spinal Tap. Couldn't he have rested on that day too? Yeah. Oh no. The review you had on Shark Sandwich said. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want, I want that on a t-shirt. That album cover? That was awesome. The Boston gig has been cancelled. What? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it now. Anyway. Hey, I heard you, boss. We got an album coming out or anything? He's wearing a Gumby and Pokey t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> I love it. The company is rather down on the cover. Is that the case? Yes. They find it very offensive and what? very sexist. A greased, naked woman and pushing a black glove in her face. Well, you should have seen the cover they wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on one minute. Ian! They really look like rock stars. Okay, I'll call you absolutely first thing in the morning. The cover is sexist. What's wrong with being sexy? I mean, there's no... <laughs> <laughs> Both Sears and Kmart stores have refused to handle the album. And if the first album was a hit, then we could have pressed on them. It we're making fun of that sort of thing, of thing, you know? But you guys were schoolmates? So we were... I bet so many bands actually had to deal with stuff like that. Small gun. What are you doing with your finger? I might need it later. <laughs> you and A, you know, I was seven. Oh my god. So cute. And I'm waiting for that train to bring you back. And I'm gonna cry, cry, cry all the way home. That sounds so good. It's wild that they're so talented that they can do all this hilarious improv and play instruments and sing. Cry, 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 cry. They've gobbled up all the talent. <laughs> Your audience seems to be young boys. There's also like a reaction to the female, of the females. We've got, you know, armadillos in our trousers. <laughs> Armadillos. <laughs> There's some problems here. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I've been working with this now for about half an hour. You can fight this. Well, no, then it's half the size. <laughs> if you keep folding it, it keeps breaking, <laughs> keep and then you everything has to be folded. Would you be holding no, this? No, I wouldn't want to eat. I wouldn't want to put no. it in my mouth. Who's in here? No one. There's a little guy. It's a complete catastrophe. No, <laughs> It's all I don't want it to affect your performance. It's not right. going to affect my right. It's better in a hell hole. They have like, great voices. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they're taking like these classic rock and roll things, but then, yeah, putting a twist on it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> you actually play all these or? I play them and I cherish them. The sustain, listen to it. I'm not hearing it. You would, though, if it were playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my radio unit. So you know? wireless. Wireless, exactly. Yeah. I don't know, I, I do my guitars, but they're all really beautiful. Look, see, still can't be played. Never. I mean, I can I I'm, look at no. it? No. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers all go to 11. Most of 11 these and then amps go up to 10. That's exactly. a real thing. If you can get one like that. You're on 10 on your guitar. Where can you go from there? Where? One louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder? These go to 11. <laughs> <laughs> Mistaken, they put you on the seventh floor with one suite. How are we going to get 14 people in a king leisure bed? 14 people? <laughs> Two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We know it's Spinal Tap. Are you playing here? We're doing the, uh, the Normo Dome, whatever it is. We got to sit down in the lobby and wait for the limo. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so they're like a rival rock band. People were still booing him when we were doing it all It's all It's all bought. Yeah. Have you seen Duke Fame's current album? No, he's, he's, he's tied down to this table. Uh -huh. We've got these whips. Their objections were that she was the victim. It's Duke such a couple. fine line between stupid and clever. Yeah. <laughs> I love all of their lines. We're cancelled. The, the gig is cancelled. 
Does this mean uh, the popularity of the group is waning? Oh, no. Now, I noticed this here, you've got this cricket bat here. It's come in useful in a couple of situations. Oh. Certainly in the... Uh, oh. We've got some cancellations, that's it. We've got to Memphis, and there's no gig in Memphis. Take a plane to New York, and then get and then go to uh, to Milwaukee from there. Janine, she's going to come meet us. She come and drop some stuff off, you know, and then no, go no, right back. No, no, she's coming on the road. <laughs> oh, no, it seems like he doesn't like her. The radio's playing a bit of your past. They're currently residing in the Where Are They Now file. Oh no! Oof. I mean, I don't feel any better than I did at the hotel. The musical version of Somebody Up There Likes Me. Well, since, since my, my baby, baby. In the same key, though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go raga. On no, this not with this, it don't. It does. <laughs> oh my god. This is terribly depressing. <laughs> perspective on things. They just released an enormous. Selling single what the flower Oh, I love that. Say. It's also amazing they can write songs in different genres so easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the opposite of what they're doing now. <laughs> Who was your drummer? Stumpy's replacement. He exploded on stage. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> There's a little green globule on his drum seat. Dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. Did he take Mark, her gun? <laughs> Hi, Mark. This is Janine. <laughs> David, smell the glove is here. Hello, Janine. Smell the glove is a very odd name. <laughs> It's going out across the country. It's the compromise. In every store. It's like a black it mirror. So bad. Yeah, it it's is. Like, well, I think it looks like death. How much more black could this be? And the answer is none. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our way now. You know, it's yeah, time I agree, to. I agree. It's time to kick ass. It's a... <laughs> I love all their stage designs. Yeah, it's actually really cool. When there was God, <laughs> this is the boy. <laughs> like that kind of sounds like the who they have like aspects of all these other rock bands <laughs> <laughs> Given the history of Spinal Tap drummers, do you have any fears? It did kind of freak me out a bit, but it can't. <laughs> I mean, the law of averages, the law of averages says, says you will survive. Yeah. Oh no, I got a bad feeling about that. I thought I might go back and see what they were up to back there, you know. Before I met Janine, my life was cosmically a shambles. I listen to him when he's experimenting and things like that. And I say, yeah, that's good or that's bad. She has amazing hair. <laughs> Nigel. And Janine, there's some sort of communication that's just not, it's just blocked or something. It's a bit of a departure from the kind of thing you normally play. I can't believe how talented they are. Well, this piece is called uh, Lick My Love Pump. <laughs> yeah, totally appropriate. <laughs> Do you have any metal objects in your pockets? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, step over here, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? Heavy duty, who rock and roll? They wrote a ton of music for this movie. <laughs> Hi, Artie Fufkin. Hey, Artie. Call him a records. How are you? Nice to see you. And where is <laughs> David? Oh, oh, David. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh man, I, I wonder if you can get that anywhere. <laughs> I thought we had a relationship here. I, mean, I, don't, know, I don't know what happened. This isn't a personal thing, Artie. Nobody's coming in the Forget store to- Forget personal thing. We had a relationship. It's me. That's what it's happening. It's me. Just kick my ass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> This looks familiar. Oh no, they can't find the stage. <laughs> Go right straight through this door here, down the hall, yeah. turn right the next two corners. These directions are so confusing. Rock and roll! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! 
No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the notion of a black album has really cursed us. It might have been better if the uh, album had been mixed right. Were you there? You couldn't hear the vocals. No, no, she, but she's no. heard the, no, she's heard heard the, the record. You don't agree that you can't hear the vocals? No, I do, I do not agree. You don't do heavy yeah. metal in Dobby, you know? I mean, in it's what? Like... Dolby, all right? She means Dolby. You know it's perfectly well what she means. Janine's been working on these very hard. We needed a new presentation. This is a look oh, wow. He's a Libra. This is Nigel. He's two Oh, my uh, God. I love this. I wish I would have come. <laughs> oh, that's can't terrifying. Come. This is a... David, a David wait, please, okay. wait a minute. They're not animals. They're really so much for yeah. animals. Yeah. It's, it's a way to fight the drought. It's like taking the kiss makeup to, like, way extreme. No, no, David. I mean, what's the... You know, I I, there, there are solutions to our problems. Let's hear your suggestions. Stone Age. Too Stone Age. This is amazing. I feel like I'm sitting at the table with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, I'm feeling you know, stressed out for them. This is it. Consider... Consider it done. Well, it's probably easier than doing all the makeup. Yeah. My solos are my trademark. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, just gotta tune that. <laughs> when we get the actual uh, set, so... but this is what you asked for, isn't it? It's so yeah. small. Are you telling me that this is it? 18 inches, right here. It's specified 18 inches. She's not wrong. <laughs> in ancient times, lived an ancient race of people. No one knows who they were. This lighting is actually awesome. <laughs> the banshees live and they do live well to that mystic land. I kind of thought I had heard, like, all of their music. There's, I haven't heard any of these, really. <laughs> <laughs> I come. <laughs> oh my god, they're making it dance too. It was in danger of being crushed by a dwarf. <laughs> making a bigger thing out of it. Making a big thing out of it would have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the come audience on. were laughing. Maybe we just fix the choreography and keep the dwarf clear. I don't think that's the <laughs> issue. <laughs> He's trying. Excuse me, this is a band meeting, right? Somebody's just singing back up. I care what She's happens me, right? to the band. You start me. screaming like a bunch of poncy hairdressers. Do you know what, what I spend my time doing? I sleep two or three hours a night. I locate mandolin strings in the middle of Austin. This feels so real. Mm -hmm. You should concentrate on what's yes. going on on stage. Yes. You could maybe do with some help. She can be she... certainly capable of taking she... over. Seriously I am suggesting... offering Wait. to help out. Uh. You couldn't manage a classroom for... <laughs> the drummer. I am not managing it with you or any oh, other good. woman. I quit, all right? That's it. No. They definitely need him. Are we going to do Stonehenge tomorrow? <laughs> no, we're not going <laughs> to do Stonehenge. <laughs> we're on the 310 flight at gate 24. That is a hat. Yep. Got a limo to take us to the lodge uh, to arrange a when whole load this, of uh, charts. So Nigel, we've got a uh, pages for you here. How would you characterize your relationship with David? You know, they go. We've grown up closer than brothers. His brothers always fight. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh God. Yeah, they definitely fight. You can't f***ing concentrate because you're f***ing wife. This, we can't f***ing do this, this is track. This is unbelievable. We've got two visionaries in the band. <laughs> <laughs> now, like Shelley or Byron, people like that. I think he's actually my favorite. Be kind of in the middle of that, kind of like lukewarm water. <laughs> <laughs> Comparing yourself to lukewarm water? <laughs> Go straight to the base. We don't know about this. What are you talking about? We're going to the Air Force. It'd be kind of cool to play at an Air Force base, right? You are yeah. a spinal tarp. I'm, I'm genuinely <laughs> <laughs> spinal tarp. This is your gentleman's first visit to a military facility. Sorry. We are such fans of your music. I'm not speaking of yours personally. <laughs> this is our monthly at ease weekend. Better not get too close to you. They'll think I'm part of the band. I'm joking. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> Get the playing on about 1900 hours to play a couple of slow numbers. Waking on a sex bomb. Poking your head. <laughs> oh, is he picking up their signal? <laughs> 
totally ruined your gig then. No. <laughs> there are certain changes that sometimes occur. You saw exactly how many people have been in this band over the years. 37 people. 37? <laughs> <laughs> so what happens to the band now? We, we shan't work together again. That's it. He's gone. I kind of don't blame him. Right. <laughs> oh, puppet show and, and Spinal Tap. We've got a big dressing room. We've got a bigger dressing room than the puppets. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play a, a bass line uh, like Nigel used to? Yeah, yeah I've got two hands here. I can oh, do it. Right. So that's good. Right, isn't he usually on keyboard? What are we going to do? We've got nothing to play here. Jazz Odyssey. Hope you enjoy our new direction. Is this like the jazz sort yeah. of? <laughs> yeah. Freeform Jazz Odyssey. On the bass, Derek Smalls. Oh my god, what a mess. It's like this your last wall, so we talk in the end of Spinal Tap. The end can be assessed as of itself, I'm trying to extrapolate the end of the universe. What is he saying? <laughs> I don't think even he knows. What's stopping it, so what's the end, you know, is my mm -hmm. question. It's hard to get the last minute, you know, mm -hmm. you can't... I mean, who wants to be a fucking 45-year-old rock and roller farting around? I mean, we can take all those projects that we thought, you know, we didn't have time oh, for. A rock musical based on the life of Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Right. Saucy Jack. Saucy Jack. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's all this free time. It's suddenly time is so it's, elastic. It's a gift. I mean, people, tr people should be envying us, you know? Oh, our jumper is amazing. It's nice to Okay. He's back! <laughs> One last show. Come see the show. You said you're just coming to, to hang around backstage. I bumped into Ian. Sex Farm is uh, on the charts in Japan. He asked me if you'd be interested in doing a tour in Japan. Whoa! You're gonna set, is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna bring us back to life? Passing on the information, really. Seems awesome. It's all about egos, though. Mm. David, do a good show, all right? Yeah, okay. Oh, I feel sad. That's a great big world, but there's only one of me. Today I'm going to rock you! Yeah! That's so awesome. Playing rock and roll keeps you a child. It's more like going going to a, a national park or something. So when you're playing, you feel like a preserved <laughs> moose on stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Works of famous authors done by actors with the same last name. I've got Danny Thomas doing A Child's Christmas in Wales by Dylan Thomas. Like this is exact my exact inner structure. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be green though. It is green. <laughs> Dennis Eaton Hogg was recently knighted for the founding of Hogwood, a summer camp for uh, pale young boys. <laughs> what? There was oh, a Saint yes. Hubbins, patron saint of quality footwear. <laughs> <laughs> for a predominantly a white audience. We say, love your brother. We don't say it, really, but... <laughs> <laughs> Have a good time all the time. Mark, you know, personally, I like to think about sex and drugs and rock and roll. I'm a real fish nut. I really like fish. And I love tuna. No bones. I suppose I could uh, work in a shop of some kind. Would you? What size do you wear, sir? Yeah. Do you think you'd be happy doing that? Well, I don't know. What, what, what are the hours? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're so good. I could just watch them sit and talk forever. I don't know how, but like everything they say is like so funny and just so captivating. <laughs> It seems like they had these characters and they got so good at being in character mm -hmm. that they can just improvise and respond to anything yeah. with like hilarious answers. Yes, like even him just role playing being like a hat <laughs> shopkeeper. Yeah. Like I could not think that quickly on my feet because it's not like he's like it never feels like they're trying hard. Like it's so natural. Mm -hmm. It's wild, wild amount of talent. All yes. of them. And that they can write and perform music on top of it that is actually good music. It's like, like catchy. Yeah. 
It's going to be stuck in my head now for days. I know, I know it. I know. I want to, like, go and play rock band and actually, like, play some of those songs now that, like, I've heard them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, man. We'll have to get some of the outfits. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I loved everything they were wearing. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. What, did he have, like, a zucchini in his pants or something and tinfoil? Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> God, so much of it, I was just like, like the drummer, he, like you know, like they set it up, they yeah. so set it up, and then when it happened, I was still like, no, like I just, I didn't expect it. I had, yeah, I'd forgotten about it, so it was a really good payoff. Yeah, just have him spontaneously combust. Yeah, like their timing, their comedic timing was so good, especially because mm -hmm. he exploded, and then all of a sudden they just cut to them being in Japan with a new drummer. Like it was <laughs> just so funny. I wonder if they ever actually went on tour as that band. Because I know, I think they actually had a couple records after. Oh, like you could buy their album right now? I believe so. I believe they made more albums after the movie as a group. Really? I'm pretty sure my family had one growing up. No I forget what it was called, but I remember. I wonder, like, it was all still comedy then, probably? Yeah, I think it was like, well, similar music yeah. to what they were doing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what the cover was. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just remember it existed. Wow, I want. I'm gonna look that up. I want to yeah. know. That's so. That's so funny. I'm super stoked that movie was recommended by Patreon. Thank yeah. you so much, everyone who recommended it. Yeah, thank you. And if you want, leave us a comment. Let us know some more movies with amazing soundtracks. Mm -hmm. I'm in the mood for more music now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, whether it's like comedy or. Like, cause that was a mockumentary or if it's yeah. like documentary style or just with great soundtracks, like just a movie with good music, like whatever. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. We'll catch you next time, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.